What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and do you remember this? One of our recent videos where I went easy mode through the PvE hunting ground on the test server that has an insane difficulty now, but that can be beaten like this, and then I was like, wait a minute, these one spiders are area effect around them, the others, they hit you on the ground, what if I just fly? What if we use an Ao Ming with Pantagruel, Gargantua, put all the damage modules on, and we just fly with it, and just kill everything on the ground? What do you think is gonna happen, ladies and gentlemen? We're here to find out, and for those who already know, you probably already commented this last time I made the other video, but now, for those who don't know, who haven't tested this, let's see what's going to happen if we use uh, the Ao Ming Titan as a flying bomber uh, you're going full-on airstrike mode against the hunting ground PvE mode. So, um, already used the Orion battleship here to dish out some damage. We're quickly earning ourselves the Titan, which takes only like a minute or so. Uh, and, uh, and then we're ready. By the way, pay attention to the next airstrike I'm setting. It's so good. Look at this, this airstrike right here. I'm switching over to the Ao Ming and look, the airstrike is taking care of everything else, man. I don't have to do anything, everything just dies. All right, so we're ready. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ao Ming is locked and loaded with Pantagruel and Gargantua. So, full-on airstrike mode uh, to the face of the hunting ground mode. Let's see how well we can, uh, well, if we even take any damage, if we can just easily, brainlessly rush through everything right there. Um, so there's these guys. You see, they can't even attack me because I'm in the air. They have no way of attacking me, so they just stand still. But, but, these Zenith guys, they are shooting me. And then, we're starting to hear other sounds too. Increasing the sound volume so you can hear it. Something is shooting. And it's not the Zeniths. And I'm starting to take damage soon. And then I realize, wait a minute, these Raker spiders, that's what they do. I always wondered what their purpose was because they never deal damage to you, but now you see my HP is going down fast because these guys are actually anti-air. Pixonic already thought of this. They covered the, the, they covered this. And also, I don't know what range they have, but it seems like the further away I get, the more damage I actually take. I can't seem to be safe walking away or flying away. So I'm gonna land now. Uh, but I still got taken out because they still had too many rockets in the air. And I was like, wow, dude, Pixonic, congratulations. You already thought of this idea. And uh, my entire plan got completely scrapped. But then I was like, wait, I only took damage the further I went away. What if I just stay over them? Maybe they can't hit me then, right? Because as I stood over these guys, they fired, but I not, I've never lost any health. So we're swapping into the next gameplay session where I try to abuse their lock-on thingy or whatever. I don't know. They, they, they don't seem to be dealing damage when I'm standing right over them. So here, see, I'm getting shot again, but no damage is coming in. I was like, cool. Okay, so it seems to be working right now. I can do a lot of damage. I can do, do a lot of killing. And for some reason, these spiderlings down on the ground, they don't actually hit me. I'm still not taking damage. So, okay. I thought my technique is working, but now suddenly I am beginning to take damage. Meanwhile, there's a whole party going on underneath me. There's so many of these guys just sitting down there. However, it seems to be working. If you take a look at the top left, I'm no longer taking damage. So as long as I stay right over these guys, they can't seem to shoot me. At the same time though, it, I have a hard time actually shooting them too, because I can't aim down on them. Um, and what I need to do is I need to get rid of these Raker spiders as they drop in from afar because that's when they can hit me. Here, airstrike on these guys. That is gonna be an insane airstrike. Look at this. Bam, bam, bam. This one Orion airstrike takes out like, what, 10 guys or 15. Still taking damage, but I can heal myself back up with the Ao Ming. We actually killed everything except something that's underneath me that I can't see because I'm too close to it, apparently. Come on, who is this? It's one of those Raker dudes. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, so we killed everything, but now the problem is they spawn in too far away. See, I'm trying to get closer to them to, to cross the distance so they stop attacking me, but yo, they all spawn far away and they immediately start launching their airstrike or anti-air missiles. And at this point, I realize it's not gonna happen. With, with the Ao Ming, you can't do it. 
Unless, maybe, you always know where they're going to spawn and you always already in advance fly over there and sit on the... over that spawn territory. Maybe then you can make it happen. But then I was like, wait a minute, there is a flying titan that has no problem with taking damage while he's in the air. And while he's not in the air, he's... Well, pretty powerful too, like the Sharenga almost from the last episode. And that would be the Aether Titan. So, ladies and gentlemen, Gargantua, Pantagruel. Uh, we're not really using this much on the live server anymore, but on the test server here with these um, hunting ground PvE mode, this might be the best use for it. So, one last full match here for you and me, ladies and gents. Let's find out if the Aether Titan can do it. Let's lower the volume again. Uh, and uh, earn ourselves a titan airstrike right in the face on these guys and uh, Yeah, slowing them down hitting them hard and earning myself the aether which by the way is already ready in like 30 seconds or so I got in the aether Come on pop tuck and hopping into the aether here we go now enemies for some reason, there's always this downtime. Maybe it's not perfectly dialed in yet Pixonic you should probably fix that downtime because no matter how good you are, you can't start killing things now. There is no way for you to gather points, um, and the timer is just ticking down. So, probably something that hasn't been fully dialed in yet, but it's a, it's a work on progress on the test server, right? So, let's uh, let's give them a break. They're doing a great job with this. I, I like the variety. Now we have uh, long-range snipers shooting you that are actually dealing damage. Now we have uh, anti-air things, and we have a short, you know, short-range brawling... Uh, area effect drones that come in in mass numbers and try and whoop you so it really gets to a point where it's now very interesting the gameplay and you have to actually concentrate you can't just go for it and here we go with the aether titan now starting to fly you see we have these spiderlings shooting me in the air but i don't really care because as long as the aether titan is flying we have a ridiculous amount of resistance uh and uh, also we get a shield when we use the battleship so that also helps Airstrike right onto these guys, adding the slowing field. So everybody there is getting slowed. Look, they can't barely move now. It's cool that the slowing field from the battleship and all these effects, they add up to each other and support you in your uh, endeavors here on the um, test server with the hunting ground. So the ability is ready. We can fly again, but so far there's nothing really that makes me fly. But let's go for it, right? So I can shoot this guy, because otherwise he would be... I wouldn't have line of sight. There's also the built-in weapon from the Aether Titan. You can see when it EMPs the enemy. It's a continuous beam that's connected to the enemy. And at some point, when it fills up the meter, it will trigger an EMP effect. And now we are at the same time where we died before with the uh, Ao Ming. The enemies are all spawning in mass numbers right there. But I'm now on the ground. Therefore, I'm not a target to these airstrike or no, anti-air uh, rakers. They just they walk towards me, but they don't fire at me, actually. And I can just go ahead and go crazy here. I can also keep healing myself because the Aether Titan does have a heal. And now we're flying to maximize damage and hit everybody at the same time. Like this. Bats! There we go. That's how we do it in the Aether Town now. Yes. Pam. So, 70 kills so far. No enemies left though. Where are they? Pixie, I need enemies to shoot. Otherwise, I won't be able to make it. Okay. So you see how long it takes these Pantagruel and Gargantuas to actually kill one of those spiderlings with uh, shooting these Zenits. They have a lot of health and they don't go down easily. So we're able to start flying now and that is what I'm going to do. Air striking these two snipers, then hitting all those guys at the same time. Pam pam pam, living legend. Finishing them off, very nice. I'm getting hit by the air strikers or no, by the anti-air defenses, uh, but um, I am nearly invincible during the ability flight of the Aether Titan, so I can actually take the shots. And now we are at the same spot that we were on with the Sharenga Titan, where I got massive amounts of kills. And uh, yeah. So yeah, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you like the video content, you like, <laughs> and you, uh, I was able to show you something interesting for you, then consider subscribing if you haven't done it. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and meanwhile, we're doing ridiculous amount of Living Legend kills here. It's nuts, dude. Trying to airstrike the snipers over in the distance. Ooh, they go down so well. Uh, 30 seconds left and we need 20 kills. You think we can make it, guys? What do you think? 
27 seconds left for 15 kills. I think we can do it because we have these we have a spot where we can shoot massive amounts of numbers on the enemy. Uh, air striking in and we need 11 more kills in 17 seconds. Six kills now. Okay, pop pop three twelve uh, three kills. Ten seconds for two kills, easy, no problem. There we go, we made it. We're first place now. We actually won another time in the hunting ground relatively easily here. It did get a little close towards the end, but it was doable. Uh, and the Aether Titan does it well. However, we did more than a million and three hundred thousand damage, less than the Sharenga did. The Sharenga in the previous video, which in case you haven't yet seen it, check out one of the recent videos. Hunting ground. Um, it did it even easier because we have three heavy weapons. We are never a target to the anti-air. Enemies come to us because we're standing on the ground. And uh, and we have more damage output with the three heavies and the extra damage ability from the Sharenga. For three seconds you do 50% more damage. And if you always utilize that to whenever you start to actually unload, that's when you activate your ability and you combine these abilities. Uh, the, the ammo capacity with the ability is very, very good uh, to dish out more damage. And you can see the difference here. So yeah, what a great way to win easy mode in... Uh, in hunting ground, let's see what Pixani comes up next to, to make it a little more difficult. Because um, now that we can use our entire hangar, uh, it, yeah, it's really uh, it's really interesting. Also, what could an angler robot do with the area effect? He's invincible, right? But he's got strong area effect. Uh, it would be also interesting to see. So for now, let's uh, let's end it here. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one, Manny. Signing off. Bye bye.